Always fresh, every day. You're watching Fast Lane Daily. Volkswagen says Passat is getting an update for the American market, but is it enough to take down the tourists? We're gonna have more. Also, Chrysler teases a new Fiat, an Austrian tuner mods the Porsche Carrera GT, Cadillac gets smaller, and an electric motorbike breaks the sound barrier. Not really, but almost. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D, and you are watching Fast Lane Daily. Tuesday. Fast Lane Daily with Derek D, always fresh every day. If you thought the Passat was starting to show its age, Volkswagen says stick around. The company teased a replacement on the way for 2010. That would be next year. Codenamed NMS, the new mid-sized sedan, will be larger than the current Passat while still priced to start at around 20 grand. Automotive News reports the new sleeker sedan was designed specifically for an American audience. That means more trunk space for golf clubs with larger seats, a rear window rack for a Winchester 30 odd six, and a special compartment for smuggling prescription drugs from Canada. It's very convenient. Expect the rollout sometime in 2010 with the first cars arriving in dealerships later on that year. And the Wall Street Journal reports Chrysler could have another rebadged Fiat up its sleeve. The latest car mentioned in a proposed alliance between the two automakers is the Fiat Bravo. Chrysler this week reportedly showed off a quote, sporty little sedan from Fiat in a presentation to dealers on future products. Autoblog says that car is likely the C-platform Fiat Bravo. If the Bravo reaches the Chrysler line, it would likely replace the Dodge Caliber. That is, if the Chrysler Fiat Alliance goes through. There's no word from Chrysler, but the Journal reports Chrysler's head of design, Ralph Cheel, told dealers the automaker would design its own version of the car over Fiat's chassis architecture. And if you're a Porsche Carrera GT owner who's grown bored with your half a million dollar supercar, fret not. There's a new way to freshen up your carbon fiber whip with the great taste of citrus. It's this new, very orange mod set up from Austrian tuning shop, Koenigsader. The Koenigsader package comes with everything you see here including an aero kit and fixed rear wing, redesigned bumpers, front and rear, and more air vents. It also gets a set of alloy wheels and a modified exhaust. The company says the 5.7 liter V10 gets no extra aspiration gear and turns out a stock 612 horsepower for a zero to 60 time of 3.8 seconds. No word on price, but if you have to ask, you don't play for Arsenal. I'm just saying. Is it a soccer team? Okay, football. And now we check in on people and companies planning the next wave of transportation for a new segment we like to call FLD Fast Forward. It's not every day you hear racing and electric vehicles in the same sentence, unless you're talking about slot cars. So what happens when you cross a drag bike with a thousand cordless drills? Naturally, you get the killer cycle. That's an all electric motorcycle created to tear a giant hole in reality. KiloCycle gets power from more than 1,200 nanophosphate cells, feeding two electric motors, turning out 500 horsepower. And the bike can reach 168 miles per hour. But the real show is how quickly you can get there. Rider Scotty Polacek took the KiloCycle through the quarter mile in 7.8 seconds, making it the quickest electric vehicle in the world. It also means the KiloCycle can get from zero to 60 in less than one second. Raymond E. DeWalt would be proud. DeWalt tools. Yeah. You can find out more on those and a bunch of other stories at the FLD News Feed. That's fastnetdaily.com, <clears throat> excuse me, slash feed. <clears throat> also, subscribe to us on YouTube and friend us on Facebook. Next up, Cadillac may be going small in the U.S. That's in the internet room mill coming up. Small. After this. The most anticipated automotive movie of the year, Mischief 7 Joyride, is finally available. Over two and a half hours of crazy automotive mayhem shot in high definition. Featuring the Joyride Exotic Car Rally, a six-day cross-country race from Santa Monica to New Orleans. Also featuring the Woodward Dream Cruise, the French Quarter Classic, exotic street racing, and much, much more. Mischief 7 Joyride is only available at www.mischief.tv. Welcome back. In the 1980s, car buyers could walk into a Cadillac dealership and drive off in a compact Chevrolet for double the price. Of course, the Cadillac Cimarron did have leather seats, but that wasn't quite enough to compete with the European imports like the popular BMW 320i. Now Motor Trend says a new, smaller Caddy could be coming to the States, but it won't be a rebadge and it won't be a compact crap box. Codenamed GM166, the new model will reportedly share GM's front and all-wheel drive Epsilon 2 platform with the Buick LaCrosse, 
taking a spot in the GM line between the 2010 LaCrosse and Cadillac's current smallest CTS. It's a letdown for some caddy watchers who had expected the Mini Cad to ride on a new smaller rear wheel drive platform, making it more competitive with sports sedans like the BMW 3 Series. That project was killed, but worry not. Oh, keepers of the luxury torch, Motor Trend says early designs of the 166 have been described as spectacular. Caddy 166 is set to arrive sometime in 2011 as a 2012 model. Well, that about does it for Fast Lane Daily today. I am Derek D. It is Tuesday. I'm going to go outside because it's friggin' hot. Actually, I'm just going to stay inside in the air conditioning because it's hot. Good job. Good save. Yeah, saved it. You guys have a lovely day. Stay cool. Next New Networks needs your vote. Your favorite shows are up for a People's Voice Award. Best Remix, Best Variety, How-To and DIY, and Best Editing. Voting closes April 30th.